ready to open the hood, use tool for the tutorials, and for car parts, the right idea is the Mr. Auto app. Easy, fast, and with better prices than on the website. You can find the catalytic converter from the easy to fit kit by Fresia used in the video through the link in the description. Turn your engine off, pull up the handbrake, pull on the bonnet release lever and open the bonnet. Unplug the battery. To change the catalytic converter, you will have to raise the front of your vehicle. Lift the front of your vehicle and put it in the two axle stands. We strongly suggest watching the tutorial, racing your vehicle safely before carrying out this step. The catalytic converter is located at the end of the exhaust line, just behind the engine. To access the catalytic converter on your vehicle, you have to first have the exhaust line move back. To do this, we recommend that you watch the video changing the exhaust line on the Golf 5, where you will find all the necessary explanations. Start by removing the crankcase, which will enable you later on to access the different elements that you will be handling. You can now see the catalytic converter and the clip which connects it to the turbo compressor. Using a 5mm Allen key, unscrew the screw on the clip. Then free the screw and with the help of a screwdriver, open up the clip to free the catalytic converter. You can now remove the clip. Using a socket wrench and a 13mm socket, unscrew the plate on the silent blocks which hold the catalytic converter in place. Once unscrewed, the whole catalytic converter will be free and you can remove it. Please support us, subscribe and like the video, that will be really cool. The easy to fit catalytic converter from Foresia used in the video comes with all the accessories needed for assembly, adapted to the engine and the line in question. This means you do not have to worry about missing parts or compatibility issues which might stop you from completing the operation. Take the silent block plate supplied in the kit and grease the silent blocks. Then, screw the plate into its position using a socket wrench and a 13mm socket. Finish off the tightening with a torque wrench. Take the catalytic converter as well as the tube supplied in the kit. Take the adapter sleeve in order to connect the two pre-prepared elements, each marked with a blue line on their sides. Then you have to bring together the two blue marks on the tubes and slide the adapter sleeve so that the center links up with the contact point between the two tubes. Once properly in position and using a 13mm spanner, screw the two nuts on the adapter sleeve, which will make it possible to create a complete seal. Finish off the tightening with a torque wrench. Now, take the metallic seal provided in the kit and install it on the catalytic converter inlet. The seal is convex, so you have to position the convex part of the joint against the catalytic converter. Then, take the clip provided in the kit and open it slightly. Take the new catalytic converter and insert it in the same way that you took out the old one. Put the two rods into the previously installed silent blocks. Position the catalytic converter facing the turbo compressor and push it slightly into it. 
then put the clip in place on the position where they join. Putting the clip in place can be difficult, so be patient. Once the clip is in place, tighten it with a 5mm Allen key. Assembly of the new catalytic converter is now finished. Put the exhaust line back in place and screw it back in. Finish off the tightening with a torque wrench. Assembly of the new catalytic converter is now finished. You can now put your vehicle back on the ground. Reconnect the battery. On certain vehicles, it may be necessary to indicate the onboard computer that the catalytic converter has been changed to ensure that the vehicle can work as best as it can. Operation completed. Hello, if this video helped you, like and subscribe.